okay so time to do the belts um, just the last couple of pieces before we move on so we've stuck the rollers on the fixed tensioner bolt is done up to 50 newton meters the mobile is left loose till we get the belts on same as when you do the Desmo Quattro engines so that nut there will get done up to 26 newton meters when it's tightened in so this side's all prepped for the belts on the left hand side of the engine we've taken off the cover for the generator so that we can get the engine turnal handle in and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the engine over so that the horizontal cylinder is at top dead center and we've got this little mark in the um, belt pulley which will align us with this mark down on the clutch casing to tell us that we're at one of the top dead center positions now you can be 180 degrees out so that's why you take the spark plug out of here and just check that the horizontal cylinder is at top dead center once done okay so i'm just going to get the engine into position now the engine now into its top dead center position so the timing belt pulley drive has got a little mark in it that lines with a little mark on the clutch casing the horizontal cylinder is at top dead center so you can't push that any further in what we now need to do is align the timing of each of the heads so if you remember from the other videos on Desma Quattro heads you do it all by the marks that sit on the actual pulleys okay but on the tester stretter heads what Ducati have done is made some nice little tools to pre-align the engine into the correct place and you'll see that they have these little guides and pins that marry up with the cam centers so all I'm going to do is drop these in to line up the cams to the correctly standard timed position so these are put into the standard timing position so they're marked V for vertical H for horizontal so what I'm going to do is just put them on now so that's the cam locking tools in and you can see that if you were to use the marks on there they would be out so not not really great but this is this is locking these cams in based on the actual camshaft itself not the the wheels on the outside so we know that these are timed absolutely correctly all it's a case of now is as per previous engines is just sticking the belts on and then we will tension them down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick those belts on um, and then I'll come back when we're ready to tension it so you can see what we need to do okay so the belts are now on the engine both the vertical and the horizontal um, one piece I should have pointed out beforehand is you have to loosen off these camshaft grub screws so that the um, pulley wheels are loose you roughly put them in the center position to get the belts in remember you're not messing around with the timing because the timing is held by these um, camshaft tools okay so this this is now roughly in position what we're going to do now as per the other engines is we're going to tension these belts to the right to the right setting set the tension using the clavis tool so this tool holds in place because the wheels are loose what we're going to do is using this midpoint on the vertical belt and this midpoint on the horizontal belt is set the new belts to a tension of 110 hertz once we've got that correct we will then lock lock that in by tightening down this nut here on the adjustable pulley to 26 newton meters 26 newton meters we'll then remove the tools oh, sorry we'll then tighten these grub screws to 10 newton meters each and then we'll remove the tools and that will be the engine all locked down so let's do, get that setting done now So first belt set 110. Uh, 
that's now at 110 as well. Okay, so belts have now been tensioned with these wheels in the loose position. What we're going to do, just tighten up each of these grub screws now as we go around the engine to 10 newton meters. That's the belt replacement done on the Tesla Strat. There you go. So we've finished building this 749 Tesla Strat engine. Um, as you'll remember, it was a fresh set of cases and then built up from parts from the owner. So the owner's going to fit the clutch, do the oil lines, do the water pump cover around the other side, fit the covers. But my involvement with this engine finishes here until he breaks it. <laughs> or it requires servicing again so um thanks for watching this build series if you like the video give us a like below if you've got any questions or comments then feel free to ask and if you're not a subscriber to the channel would really welcome you to the channel so hit the subscribe button and the little bell for the future notifications and more videos coming out okay thanks for watching this tester stretter build series catch you later cheers bye